All right, we are live for the Insurance Marketing Masterclass. I'm Cody Askins. I'm Landon McCarter. And we are here to talk about marketing. What better dude to talk about it than my good buddy Landon? Hey, you know? I'm honored to be here, man. Share, share a webinar with, the, with this genius celebrity over here. Dude, we need to be doing life. this more often, man. I like it. You know? Uh, but we've been getting a ton of questions. For those that are joining, okay, thank you for being a part of this. We're gonna spend about 40, 45 minutes going over several different things. Landon's going to be covering a lot of different pieces. What, what can they expect to learn over this next little bit? Well, hey, I'll make it really easy for you. We want inbound, high quality, high buyer intent leads. There's two main ways to do that right now, and I'm gonna cover both those ways. One's Ooh. gonna be a long-term strategy, one's gonna be a short-term strategy, and we're gonna knock it out. Awesome, I love it. So we're, again, we're, so thank you for being here. We're gonna be talking about, this is a marketing, insurance marketing masterclass. We're gonna talk about short-term, how to get short-term lead flow, how to consistently get it, how to get it so it doesn't suck, also how to get long-term lead flow so that you're able to get that forever, as they say on- uh, Sandlot. Sandlot, that's the movie. I, I was like, what was that? Sandlot. And then also we're gonna cover the actual um, brand new marketing automation software that we have created in-house that is unfreaking believable that you can use to increase, increase your closing rate by upwards of 8%, possibly even higher, of JB increased his closing rate using Samson. Yes. He increased his overall closing rate of his Medicare leads selling over the phone from 6% all the way up to 14% by simply taking his lead flow and putting it in this automation software. Is it magic that ended up at 8% exactly? Yeah, exactly, yeah, which is kind of crazy, right? I'm wearing my 8% polo, we got the 8% conference, 92% of agents fail, and this thing increases you by 8%. There we go, there we go, and 8% is not a small number. No, it's really not. If you look at the overall like budget, lead flow, money that's spent, 8% in terms of revenue commission to the company is a lot of freaking money. It'll make your, it could make your, your lead buy or your marketing budget profitable or, or not yeah. based on that little thin margin. So uh, you're going to get started with this party or what do you want? Let's to do it. So, so again, appreciate being here. We're going to be very quick. We're going to jump into these specific strategies. Landon's a freak for those that don't know Landon. Okay. He's, he's been um, in the marketing industry forever. Uh, absolute machine. Um, the brightest mind in the in insurance marketing and uh, he's going to cover specific things. Also, as we go through this, please, if you have questions, please throw them in. Um, and, and at the end, we'll probably give you a chance for like, we'll probably throw in a free bonus at the end for those that stick around again. So appreciate you being here. Take it away. Bro. All right. Well, Hey, so lead flow and marketing is one of the pillars that you're going to need to stand on to grow your business and grow your brand and grow your book, you know, grow your, your revenue and grow your income. Right? So the only way in, in the insurance world to sell more is to do what Cody, get in front of more people. That's it, man. Right? That's it. Okay. More people. So how do you get in front of more people? Well, you got to market, you got to market yeah. smart, you got to market uh, effectively. And with this day and age, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of people that are really, uh, pretending that they know what they're doing um, when really they have no real experience. They just have a MacBook and uh, a dream and they're now a lead vendor. And a garage. And, and, let, and let me basement. tell you, their ad copy is so fire that their leads are so much different than everyone else's on Facebook. It's like, that's not how it works. We're all using Facebook. Let's just talk about this whole deal in terms of lead flow, growing our overall lead flow and making sure they're capitalizing on those leads that are getting in. Uh, in the house. I'm going to probably talk about Medicare a lot, if that's okay, just because we're coming into AEP. Totally. But this is also very applicable to life, final expense, mortgage protection, whatever. So if, if, I, if you hear me hammering on Medicare, it's just because it's an easier example uh, through some of my examples. Also, um, AEP is coming up. And so if you don't have this figured out, you are going to be missing out on an, a, a heck of an AEP. Um, I know for a fact that this year's AEP is going to be really massive from from our medicare clients like everyone's like gearing up for big 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 increases i know people that are that are prepping for like you know thousands of, of apps this year with not even huge offices so yeah well and, and some some marketing budgets of hundreds of thousands of dollars over yeah. freaking six weeks yeah, you know? that's true that's true so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cover two main things the first thing i'm gonna cover is you know sh how to how to get leads today and tomorrow i'm gonna kind of cover what that looks like how to actually uh, look, I need leads on the third week of August and I need the X amount of leads per day, X amount of leads per week, and I need to be able to have a controllable uh, lead flow. And then I'm going to get into how to build a actual system that's going to be creating through a website on inbound organic leads that are going to come in automatically as well. But that takes time. You can't control that. Um, so I'm going to get into short term first. Let's cool do it. I love, right. it. I love it. All right. So what I'm going to do, how do I share my screen here, buddy? Will you hook me up? Yep. Click here. And I 
think we're probably sharing. Let's see here. Boom. Sharing main screen. All right. Okay, great. Awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover, um, let's see here. Let's see here. All right. Let me go right here and let me click on dashboard. Okay. So here is what I want to try to explain is that there is sort of a new era that is coming about in the digital marketing space. And that is the, the days of generating a Facebook lead and dropping that lead into a spreadsheet um, and then getting that lead worked on the spreadsheet, in my opinion, this is somewhat old news. What I mean by that is you really, some of these Facebook leads, they're becoming inundated with a lot of messages. And so a lot of these people are kind of falling into our funnels somewhat on accident somewhat. So in my opinion, a necessary step of actually uh, getting uh, an organic, I'm, I'm sorry, a consistent lead flow with social mm -hmm. is to build the social ads and then drop them into what's called like an automation, you know, platform. So what do you know so far about an automation platform? And like, yeah, I mean, dude, um, w w I know that there's a bajillion choices out there. I know that uh, for me and, and, and our audience, I know that they like something simple that works. And so really what we've created and what we're working with, what agents are using now um, is, is able to follow up on their behalf, which is huge because as we all know, those first 72 hours, crucial. Got to be texting, calling, um, emailing, you know, and, and this thing we've been door knocked. We're just kidding. Uh, What's your recommended touch point system? At 12, 12 touches in the first 72 hours, six calls, three texts, three emails. Okay, so you're the insurance agent of the two of us. I'm the marketer. So if you're going to need uh, an aggressive amount of leads to grow your AEP this year or grow your, your book of business, yeah. how many leads a week are you going to need? Oh, gosh, I would say, I mean, at, at least 30. Yeah, you know, 30 you're like 60. a local dude, you know. I'd say 30 to 60. Well, if you're having 12 touch points yeah. in 72 hours times 60 leads, that number gets a little ridiculous. So only 720 touches inside of the first 72 hours. So 10, 10 per hour. It, that's no no big deal, you know. I mean, it, it, if you don't sleep. Exactly. The, 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 the point I'm trying to make is, is that in order to really effectively work a lead, you really need to be touching 70, 12 times in 72 hours. Yeah. Well, a lot of those touches, if you think about it, are, are really like the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. Right? So what automation is built to do is it's built to generate the lead and then within seconds, that lead is then texted, emailed, and then we actually even make the phone call and try and connect the agent with the lead. We can do that as well. Yep. So that person comes in. Well, that's that's what's freaking crazy, dude. Is 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 I I I remember like feeling like I needed to call a lead inside the first sixty seconds, but I was you know I was driving or I was at a, you know and I was moving around or I forgot or I was eating lunch. But this system will actually when a new lead, and, and correct me if I'm wrong when a new lead comes in, the system will actually call you. Yes. You answer. And it connects you. Connects you to the client. Yes, connects you to the client. So we basically just have to answer your phone on that situation, right? It sucks. It's it's so horrible. Uh, but no, speed lead is, is incredibly important. But those that aren't going to be able, if you if you're not if they're not able to answer, it'll do a voicemail drop for you. But also, you know, it's going to automatically text and email and try and get that initial engagement. Okay. So what that means is is whenever someone gets like, uh, what we'll do is we'll set up an automation that'll be something like. Hey, there might be discounts available in your area to see if you qualify. Just respond with your zip code. This mm -hmm. is after they've already opted into one of our leads. Well, that lead's coming in automatically. So what that person will do is respond with their zip code. So let me ask you this. Is it more effective to call the person that filled out a lead and didn't give you their zip code or filled out a lead and also gave their zip code immediately? Yeah. You want to basically call that person that's engaged. So totally. what will end up happening is, is that engagement will start to like identify the high priority leads so you can make sure that you're not spending a lot of your time you know, cold calling, which you need to be doing also, but sure. there's like a, almost like a, the cream rises to the top with the automations. Yes. So what the automations are built to do is really just immediately call, immediately text, immediately email, and then try and get them to do one of two things, get an inbound call to us, right? Mm -hmm. So we want an inbound call. Uh, we also want them to get a calendar like scheduled, like a booking schedule, right? So basically that lead is generated Within 60 seconds, all those automations are firing off. We also have in the 72 hours, I think it's about six to eight touches, depending on which automation we're doing, uh, that are touching of those 72. You still want to have to get on the phone and try and call those leads and try and push them you know, through the system as well if you're really aggressive. Um, but that makes it so much easier to hit those 12 touch points. It's trying, the, the, the automation tool is actually trying to book appointments for you. Yes, and get inbound calls. And get inbound calls for you 
and move them through the stages and pipelines, which you're going to show in a second. Yep. And then also, if they miss, I think it can even try to rebook them it if can. they miss the appointment, which is freaking nuts. Basically, you'll it's find a virtual assistant. Well, a lot of your that's what we call Samson. It's a little robot, you know. Like if you yeah. look at the corner of Samson, we created the little robots, basically your little assistant. That's awesome. But you know that that right there is you should be able to um, get your leads effectively. Uh, consistently into the system and then allow this to help with your initial touch points and then if as long as you hustle and work those leads additionally to what um, we're getting as well you should be able to you know you, that will increase your close rate so you know one of the things I want to kind of walk you through real quick is here's an example so this is like an overview this, this makes it this shows you like a, a good understanding of what your close rate is how many leads you have in the system and then we can assign pipeline value if you want um, this number is pretty arbitrary because it's not like an actual sale or place premium or whatever, but it's just almost like an identified amount per, uh, per pipeline. So then what we're trying to do is there's a section right here where you can actually, um, this is where the texts and the emails and the phone calls come. Wow. So, so you like, actually see all the text. Yeah. So if you look at, this is when we actually made the call. This is, you know, it's basically a history of the actual client. So you can actually respond by text or by email within the system itself. And it has like a big old list of all the interactions that you've had with the client. So really all that we're trying to do though on this is to push them towards a meeting really is what we're trying to do. We're trying to automate the beginning yeah. portion of get the getting the um, initial interaction, the contact rate up so that we can then uh, go sell Homer Simpson. Did we close Homer? <laughs> we did not close Homer Simpson. <laughs> um, so so basically that's what, that's what this is for. So essentially this is the interface that shows you how to It'll, it'll track all the different, um, if they book an appointment, it'll say appointment booked. But at any time, you're also going to want to make sure you call and confirm that appointment. And, and so they're booking, it. it's automatically going out to confirm that they actually did it to get them to reconfirm, but just double validate yes, that booking. That's so then here's awesome. like a bigger picture, right? So the bigger picture is, is every time you get a new lead, the automations are moving to push this lead over over all the way to application pending right that's the whole point it's crazy the whole point is to generate the lead right here and then the automations are trying to get it to a hot lead now a hot lead is identified as an individual that's responded to our automations so you know that like if you have 50 new leads and like four hot leads who do you think you're going to call first yes the hot okay ones. Duh. so you call the hot leads or you respond hot leads not to mention these automations are going to the text message are going to come right away etc so then you're going to try and get them to point a book so if you happen to manually talk to Jamie Brown and book the appointment, mm -hmm. you just dr drag it over here to appointment booked. Every time a lead chase changes dispositions, it's gonna set up a new set of automations that are gonna be able to try and make sure that they don't miss their appointment, et cetera. So all we're trying to do is go all the way over here to the right to the sale made. It's really that simple, right? Unbelievable. Dude. Now, this beats the heck out of a spreadsheet, right? Yeah. Okay. So this a little bit. So a little what, bit. Th what'll happen is, is not, not, only, not only will this beat the heck out of a spreadsheet, you will find that, I mean, it's it's a no-brainer that if it's better than spreadsheet, but you'll also find that if you if you work with a bunch of different lead vendors and a bunch of different uh, lead buys, you're gonna end up with 50 different spreadsheet links with 50 leads on them. Yes. Right? That's not really gonna help you overall, no. right? You're gonna have how are you gonna be able to track that? You don't want to waste those track leads. an ROI and all that. Like yeah. I love that when when you can start to do that inside the system. Yep. So what you want to do is you want to kind of this, you want to put all your system all your leads into one system. So if you have other lead sources, you can drop your leads into this as well and kick off automations as well. Um, so, I mean, it really, honestly, guys, like this is pretty much like what, you know, it'll even show you like when your calendars are booked and you can, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's all in one system. Now, this isn't like a, what I would consider like a, a full customer relationship management system. We call right. it a CRM. This isn't necessarily something that you're going to want to keep all of your, um, uh, books like I'm sorry all of like this isn't gonna drive your entire business it, yeah. it could for if you're new but this is really built to manage your lead flow make sure you're not missing leads and looking at Get the bottom them to a sale exactly and so in terms of getting the leads in if you want to you can have your own lead source put them in you can hire us to help you with your lead source you can do your own Facebook leads and drop them in here it doesn't really matter there's a million different ways wow. to do this thing uh, well, what's really cool uh, Melissa thank you for chiming in I uh, appreciate it. I'm, we're gonna try to notice some of the comments and questions as we go she says I love the sound of this system that's awesome thank you Melissa yeah well we're just trying to make it easier on agents like our, our mission statement is to help every insurance agent in the world 8% um, right. nation brands built around getting people out of that 92% of insurance agents that fail and get them the 8% and I can tell you right now that 
insurance agents in general, we don't want to make those 12 touch points in 72 hours. It's not the most fun part of the job. A lot of freaking work. Okay. So let's just automate a lot of the stuff that can be automated yeah. and move on. So, you know, I want to kind of wrap a bow on that before I get into some long-term stuff. Yep. Um, what, 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 what did I miss, dude? You're, you're the Mr. Insurance agent. You made um, 17 grand your first year. What would you have done with this system? Well, I yours? cold door knocked and cold <laughs> called. So I don't know what, I mean, I would have made like 12 million. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I think the coolest part is like, just to recap a little bit, seeing the pipeline, the, so, the, the automation software can actually move them through the pipeline for you if they interact with it. Um, the, automa the automatic text emails. You know what's actually one of my favorite things? There's two of my favorite things. Number one, it'll call me when a lead comes in. Yep. I'm like, that's the first thing. The second piece I love is that I can actually go in the system, see the conversations that have been had for two, with the client, on my behalf and go respond to them within the system. Yep. That's actually one of my favorite parts because there's a lot of stuff out there where you, you think texts are going out, but you can't see them. Yep. And a lot of times you can't even see it if the customer responds. Well, what good does it do if you text them and they respond to you with a question and you don't know that they texted you back, they're gonna think you're you know, not a professional because you didn't respond. You know, like I love that. Well, and also too, there's a lot of people are doing like, and we were we were ones that did it as well. We had an email system that helped with automated emails. We had a text message system yes. that helped with automated text, and then we had like Calendly that helped with the calendar. Well, those three things were their own little deal, and they call it like a tech stack monster. So we we're yeah. like, you know what, these all be integrated, and so that's what that's what this is right here. So you don't have to have the you know the fifty dollar a month text message program yes. you don't have to have the hundred dollar or whatever it is for the you know emails you don't have to have the uh, ninety nine dollar calendly you know uh, pro or whatever this yeah, is yeah, yeah. do do all that for you which is amazing before you move to long term uh, I want to let you guys know that I, I'm, the, the the bonus I want to throw in is to give you a free strategy call to discuss this system to give you an extra free demo of the system and see if it would be a good fit in your organization and let you know how much it would cost totally for free. So you can click on the link in chat, secureagentmarketing.com slash Samson to go ahead and fill that out to make sure that you get contacted tomorrow for your free strategy call. So I just want to make sure we didn't forget that. Right on. So, you know, I, have I covered adequately like the short term strategy? Yeah. So, okay. So just to be clear, like right now, like Google, YouTube, Facebook are the three, um, <laughs> you know are the three main digital platforms i'm telling you guys right now we spend a million dollars a month on youtube google and facebook and unfortunately facebook right now is just beating google and youtube overall unless you have a massive massive budget and when i say massive i mean like 30 grand a month like at least you know yeah, for these yeah. big call center guys um google is just not winning from a return on ad spend level a cost per lead level Facebook is winning right now, especially on the turning 65, you know, senior market, et cetera. So right now that's the platform that we we are living in. So um, not only, but like I would just recommend that as your as your lead source right now. Um, although we can do Google and, and YouTube if you have a bigger budget too. Um, but, yeah. but anyways, basically you gotta drive the leads and then you drive leads into the system and then help the touch point, help the automations make those touch points for you and then close the deals and then move on. Um, what do you think, man? Should we move on to long term? I think I, I think that's great, buddy. I'm in. I love it. Okay. I love it. So one of the things that I wanted to cover um, as well, let me make sure Boom. that I've got. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good. So here's what what I'm gonna do is is I am going to show you guys um, a couple things. I'm gonna also go to. Uh, is it okay to pull up Boomer Benefits? You think? Mm. Should we use one of ours? Sure. You just go to Bobby Brock. Okay. So everybody knows Justin Brock. Um, Justin Brock and in the Medicare space is really just killing it. So we built this site, and what, what I'm gonna cover right now is long-term inbound lead flow from a content marketing perspective. So yes. would you agree that with the statement that people work with people that educate them? Totally. Okay, so where are people getting educated now? Online. On Google. Yeah. So let me ask anybody that's in the Medicare space right now, for instance, um, well, Are, and, and this is true, by the way, and they, the people watching can attest to this because they probably learned about us because of YouTube. That's true. Or, or Google that's first, true. you know what I mean? So, well, that's a good point. We had, uh, whatever, hundreds of registrations for this particular webinar, and yeah. we spent zero dollars yeah. to market it because yeah. of our, on, just because of the organic monster uh, that we've created. Um, that's right. Are you linking the chat? No, yeah. yeah. All right. 
So we had a question come in. So, okay, so what I want to cover now real, really quick is, is I want to show you guys how this is the most important part, in my opinion, of insurance marketing. Because one of the, one of my pet peeves um, of like the industry right now, the insurance industry, is people think that insurance marketing is either you know social leads or direct mail leads, and that's not insurance marketing. That's just getting a lead flow going. Okay, what's most important, in my opinion, moving forward, is people are going to work with the people that educate them, and people are going to have a um, a very easy time doing business with the person that actually educates them. Well, how yes. do you actually educate them? Well, one of the things I wanted to pull up is is, is online is where these people are getting their um, information. So whenever you, w let me ask you a question. You don't have to answer obviously because you're all muted, but are your prospects coming to you more educated now than ever? 100%. Would you agree? Okay, 100%. so you, you rewind the clock five years ago. You, a Medicare sale was like, extremely elementary in the initial parts of this of the conversation yeah. because they were just like hey i think i need medicare i got some direct mail pieces i need help what do i do but now it's like hey i've done some research i think i need part d and i don't know what's going on and should i do a you know like they're like throwing out terms because they've already done some research well they're doing this research online so one of the facts that people need to understand is that a like a medicare for instance or even even final expense a website set up the correct way will get you a lot of inbound lead flow it is not like it is not that hard to do. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example. Yeah. And for those that, those that are like, yeah, I'm a little bit skeptical of the fact that a hundred, I can get hundreds of leads for free long term. It's like, well, we get, uh, I think last month we had 805 just show interest in marketing alone yep. in June or July yep. uh, through the website, through the website, so, through content marketing, through YouTube, through video content, et cetera. Yeah. I mean, it's so true. So it's I'll show you a true. website that's working. We obviously built this website for Justin. Um, and walk them through everything that has to do with this. So what will happen is, is these individuals will educate themselves on this actual, let's just go, for instance, Medicare supplements. Um, let's just say that someone's interested in plan B. So what will happen is, is what I'm going to show you guys is how to set up a, a what's called a structure, a foundational content structure that will be found on Google. Google is looking for local Medicare authorities mm -hmm. in a particular market. They would rather send a individual in Springfield, Missouri, to a local Springfield, Missouri Medicare shop. And yes. we can do that by setting up our Google Maps and all this other stuff that we can do online. But I wanna be more, I wanna be um, clear on how we actually accomplish this. So this is what I would call like a foundational page. So what this is, is if you look at this site, you're gonna see all the foundational pages that we have created. So you would think, holy moly, what the heck are you guys doing creating all these pages? <laughs> well, uh, exactly. So like what'll happen, like even if you, even if you go down to Medicare by state. And this took a few months, I'm assuming yeah. at least. So we even have like, you know, all the states built out, everything, right? So you wow. see an individual page. So this is getting, you know, literally hundreds of, of leads a month for Justin. Now, do you think a search engine optimization, do you think a lead that comes from Google that says, how do I get, how do I apply for Medicare? Yeah. Is better than a Facebook lead? Yeah. And then, and then yeah, they're searching number one. And then they go here and like, oh, I want to book a consultation. And then, so then it's they like, get this and they'll, they'll, they'll fill it out. It's a lay down. They get your lead exactly. Now it takes time to get here and you have to actually build this thing out and it takes some budget to get there. So but this is, so this is like for the, I would say the serious people, like the heavy hitters yeah. that are, have some budget and are thinking long term and not just interested in the short term lead flow, because that is social, like for sure. Yeah. But if you want to invest in your business and grow this, this is how you do it. So I want to kind of walk you through how we do that. Okay. So whenever Google, um, let me close this. So what this is just a very basic, I, I kind of typed this up before the meeting. This is just an example of like a, what's called a site map. Have you heard of a site map? Mm -hmm. So basically what a site map is, is and Google actually recognizes this as a sitemap as well. We actually have to give this to Google and say, here's what our website's about. So what'll happen is, is this is each one of these pages or boxes represents an actual page on the website. So parts of Medicare, um, A, B, C, D would be an example. Um, now, obviously, when you look at Justin Brock's site, it's much more built out. But uh, Medicare enrollment periods, cost of Medicare, how to choose a Medicare plan. Why do you think we chose these four pages as foundation pages, dude? Mm popular exactly that's what's being searched on google in their particular area yeah so we can go into google and look at what keywords are being searched in the particular area and go build foundational pages directly around those right so but it's like parts of medicare here's an example as well and then medicare sub then you got plain comparison then a through n this is just an example so this website has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen you get the idea i think it's like yeah. 20 pages of actual content 
Now, this is what I would call foundational content. So if you look at Justin's site, um, where, did I, where did I go? How do I get up to your browser? Oh, there it is. All right. So if you look at this site, you've got, these are the, what are called like our foundational pages, right? So that's what I'm showing you on the, on the site map. But if you yeah. go look at the, what's called supplemental content, you've always, we've all heard that blogging is really important, right? Yes. Okay. So why is blogging important? I mean, the reason blogging is important is because Google is, doesn't care whose website that they show. They only care that their website gets answers to the person that searches questions. So basically if I'm going to Google, and I'm typing in a keyword of parts of Medicare, or how do I enroll in Medicare, Google is only interested in showing the websites that are most relevant to that search. You show Google that you want to be relevant for those keywords by creating content. Does that make sense? Yep. So now you can also blog the wrong way though. You can create a bunch of content that isn't connected to the right foundational pages and end up um, not really even like getting anywhere because you're not doing it the right way. So it takes a, a, a strategic structure, but I just wanna kind of show you the, the broad overview that this is this is how you do it. And this is like what you need to be working towards as you start to build a site. So this is an example of a blog post that then goes back to parts of Medicare. So what happened is, is I just went from my blog post, right, to my foundational page that it connects to. And so what happens is, is you have all these foundational pages built out and then you got your blog feed and then you connect the supplemental pages to your foundational pages. And so mm -hmm. Google says, okay, this person is looking for a keyword that's relevant to Medigap plan B. This website, has one page all dedicated to Medicap Plan B along with a video about that. And it's got 30 blog posts that are relevant to Medicare Part B as well that are all connected to this page. This website, not only is it about Medicare, it has 31 pages of content relevant to Medicare Plan B. This is the most authoritative site on Google. They're number one, everyone else is below. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's awesome. So that's all you're doing really with the website. So basically what you're wanting, wanting to accomplish with the website is all this content has to be unique and custom custom written um, the way we build sites and the way we recommend you would build a site is just build a WordPress site um, use a page builder um, on that so you can make the pages you know easy uh, create a site map create the site the different sections of, of authority that you want to be found um, and then just create the content stand at the site now if you need help doing this obviously we're a web design company we can help you with that um, but if this is something that you need to be doing whether you hire us to do it or not um, and there is hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people that are looking for these keywords in a particular area. If you ever wanted to get on the call with us, I could show you that search traffic in your particular area if you want. That's awesome. Does that make sense? So yeah. What, what am I missing, man? You're the insurance guy. Catch me up, man. Dude, I think it's just phenomenal. I think that a lot of people in our industry think very short term. They think, you know, like you said earlier, they think today, they think tomorrow, but they don't think five years from now, 10 years from now. You know, a lot of agents, I mean, yeah, yeah the average age is 59 and a half but a lot of newer agents and younger agents are getting into the business. Well, if I'm, you know, if I'm 20, if I'm 35, you know, I'll be at this insurance game for another 20, 30 years yep. at least. Why wouldn't I be wanting in, 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 in two years or three years to be the thought leader in the space so that I'm not having to pay for leads anymore? You know, um, it's just, uh, Justin said, I'm sorry I have to have to ask, but how tall is Landon? <laughs> I'm 6'9", bro. And dude, he makes me look tiny. He's like, Cody's 5'4". No, I'm 6'1", but, but yeah, he's 6'9". That's awesome. That's good. How do you know how tall I am? Is my arms? Is it well, dude, you could just tell, dude. Yeah, look at that freaking <laughs> reach, man. Like, it's ridiculous. You can I haven't been asked that on a webinar before. No, but that's, you know, it, it, in person you get asked a lot, but through chat in a webinar? There we go. There we go, Justin. Thanks, get, thanks lighten bro. Them, lighten it up a little bit. There we go. No doubt. I, I think what you really did is, is, is short-term long-term, the importance of both in a simple, not crazy way, in a class format in under 30 minutes. Like, you know what I mean? This is stuff people people need. And a lot of people would have charged for what he just did. And well, you paid 10 grand just in one occasion to learn some of this a decade ago. Yeah, it was actually, yeah, eight years ago. I paid 10 grand to go down to Dallas to learn SEO. Um, I spent let's see it is eight hour eight hour classes five days a week and i came back here so it was so funny too because i'm like an entrepreneur like a lot of you guys are and i remember sitting there which it was driving me crazy that whole like classroom setting was nuts for me but at the end of the day <laughs> oh, bro, no, no no it would not work so but at the end of the the last day i'm like okay wait a minute i'm like so wait all you got to do is this and then this and then this and then this and she's like yeah that's pretty much it and i'm like 
well, freaking what the heck did we do 40 hours of training for? And you give me a stupid book that was this thick. Like, I don't even need any of that. Like, I get it, you know, I get it. So so what we do is, is you know, we have this this month, dude, we, we, we produced 390 pages of content, of unique content. We still have 270 website pages. We're building the in, the internet, if you would say, of just you know insurance type keywords yes, and, we are. and uh, websites, et cetera. But what I find a lot of times is that people don't, they don't think it's possible to compete with the big guys online, and that's just not true. Like, especially in a, if you're in a smaller market, yes, um, you can win very easily because there's what's called like geo tags on the actual. I don't want to get too far into the, the weeds here, but you can tell Google that you are in, you know, whatever Springfield, Missouri, and mm -hmm. I am a Medicare authority in Springfield, Missouri, and you can fill out your content and geo tag all of your content relevant to Springfield, Missouri, and you will rank in Springfield, Missouri. With, and, and so a lot of people are like, well, I can't do the online thing because I can't compete with the big dogs. Well, you actually can. Yeah. And you'll you'll find that your overall, your organic traffic will increase, your inbound leads will increase. So if, if you had, like in, in my recommendation, let's just say you wanted to go heavy handed into digital marketing. And let's just say we're not talking about AEP. So if you wanted to get going, you would want to allocate some sort of a budget. Of that budget, you want to allocate short term lead flow versus long-term lead flow. Yeah. Um, the more you invest in long-term, the more your return on investment is going to be later. The more you invest in short-term kind of helps you get the wheels moving. So I know yeah. a lot of people, like a good recommended budget that I would say is $2,300 a month. And that sounds like a ton. It's not a ton. You know, that's like 20 leads a week buying from vendors. You know what I mean? That could be reallocated appropriately. Yeah. And that and you hate the stuff you're buying from vendors anyway. So, so that's true. an example budget. Now we have clients that spend twenty three hundred a day, and we have clients that spend seven hundred fifty a month, and we have clients that buy leads and, and whatever. So we can yeah. do all of those different things. But my recommendation, if you want to get like after it, is to set a twenty three hundred dollar a month budget. The reason I come up with twenty three hundred is because that'll give you fifteen hundred dollars of short term lead flow. It'll get you Samson integrated, all of that, and then it'll get you an ongoing content marketing strategy. So if you can bite off twenty three hundred a month, along with getting, a, if you could commit yourself to doing videos once a week, once every couple of weeks, that's all you need to do, man. And yeah. so what we can serve as an agency is to kind of help create that. We, you know, we can kind of say this is north, this is how you need to go, yeah. this is how you need to walk, and we could take your video and. Actually, the guy right sitting next to me right here is our videographer. He's waving, but he can't see you. And uh, he's going like this. He's, you'll still talk to him soon if you call in. Um, and uh, he can help structure the videos, edit the videos, put them on YouTube, tag the videos, just get everything moving the right way. Um, but this is something we're really passionate about. We really oh, love helping sure. people. Yeah, and, and, and what we also have clients that spend as little as 700 bucks a month, you know, in, in general. So it's like anywhere from 700 to 70,000 or more, you know. So it's it's great for it's really for any budget. We can work with any budget and work with you. If you're buying leads ever per month, we can improve the way that you're doing it, probably give you double the lead flow for the same amount of money yeah. um, by structuring it differently because we try not to be a vendor as much anymore as we try to be an agency. Yeah, and there is some people that need leads. And so if you need leads, just let us just give you some leads. That's fine. But like, sure. they're, they're, if you have a budget for a consistent lead flow, then you um, you should be talking to us because that's what we do. Yeah. Um, but also, uh, you know, I'm, we're getting some uh, questions here. Can you, what Johnny, is can you use this site other than with Medicare? How much is the is the is the cost to get your help? Yeah, so it, it just depends, um, Johnny. I would just say just go to Samson, just fill out a lead, a lead form, and we'll just talk, have a personal conversation, without getting into like an actual like price, because um, it's all dependent on what you want us to do. Because if you, we have small entry level things, we got bigger, heavy handed like get things moving type of type of products. You know, we got some clients that. Like we're flying up to you know Omaha here in a here in a little while to go talk yeah. to somebody about a monster budget, but that doesn't mean everybody has to come in with that, you know. So that's right. Um, so yeah. So um, and we're also getting a lot of like you know uh, other sort of budget questions. You don't need twenty three hundred dollars to like do marketing. No, we're just yeah, recommending yeah. that as like a healthy budget. Yeah. Um, and, and for and for those who are like, dude, I, I, what do I do now? What do I do next? You know, well. I would click on the link in chat or go to, as you can see it right here, secureagentmarketing.com. Click on Samson right here in the menu or go to securagemarketing.com slash Samson. And you can learn more about the automation platform that we gave you a demo literally of this complete software. And you can go to our website and actually schedule a free strategy call. Tell us what you want help with, what you have questions with, or if you have questions at all, 
and we will reach out and actually discuss this to see uh, how it can benefit you, um, how much it costs, if you want to do marketing with it, and, and what that looks like. And it's all totally free to have conversations, yeah. as is the webinar, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, and just so you guys know, we, we are so all in on this that, like, you know, as you get to know us, and I'm sure you guys watch our YouTube channel and some other things, like, our entire business is built around doing what I'm recommending you to do. So, like, as you guys fill out these leads, those leads are going into, like, our, you know, our, our uh, team. Our team is then understanding what's going on. And then, you know, we have this whole system built out. And one of the things that, you know, you can count on is we're not, we're certainly not telling you to do something that we're not all in ourselves. I mean, good grief. Like between our two brands, we probably spend $30,000 a month on marketing, content marketing, content creation. Depends on maybe more. It depends on what you want to put in that basket. Yeah, I just upped it recently. On saying. Both, so, we, we just worked on both sides. So yeah. it's like, it's, I'm telling you guys, it's the future. Like, yeah. what, like I got my degree in marketing and what it used to be was like, you know, go heavy handed all in on radio or all in on TV and just dominate the market and get the mind share of the individual, blah, blah, blah. And I knew people that were spending like a million dollars a year on marketing. I'm sorry, a million dollars a year on TV and they were building their business that way. The, the, the problem is, is that now buying decisions are made after education, in my opinion. Yeah. You don't need I don't need to know. I, it, we, there's so much opportunity to find a, someone to help you mm -hmm. that you don't need to be like. Oh, that I needed like something from that guy, and I, he's the only guy that I know in the industry that can give me that. So I'm gonna call him. Now it's like, no, no, no. I got ten people to choose from. Who's who's doing the yeah. best to educate me on what's going on? And they're gonna get the first whack of my business. You know, exactly I'm right. You. So um, especially with like life and final expense and some other things as well. So yep. um, and yes, this does work for final expense, for term, for life, for annuities, for IUL, for all of that. The idea with the website and social also, but really most mostly the website is that even the organic lead flow is like the icing on top, although that's important and pays for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You're also building an asset. So if you have other, like if someone's referring you to, to, if you do business with them and they're referring you, they're gonna give you like their website to check out. And if your website is filled with content of education, yeah. doesn't that come across as like, I care about you, I care about educating you, I, you know, I want to help you be successful. Um, so you're not just, creating inbound lead flow online you're also building an asset for your brand that's going to help your business as well like yeah so it's it's a better investment than short-term lead flow but short-term lead flow is necessary a lot of times to get new agents which had a question about um, will, will it work for all this work for health insurance and absolutely will we are actually starting to totally dominate the under age 65 health insurance market with all these new crazy uh, quizzes and, and, and landing pages and everything else it's 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 Actually, surprising me it's so real, really well under 65 health is actually like killing it because yeah. we've identified a way especially if you can write business across the country um so if you're if you can like write business wherever like we trust me fill out this form we can talk yes. about it it'll be a, and a good even if you don't want to write um you know on exchange um you know uh, plans and you're like hey i want to write you know um, short-term medical or other health insurance plans uh, we can target Self-employed business owners, et cetera, and, and get you those type of deals. So, so the, the 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 moral of the story is, when it comes to insurance marketing, we have an answer. Yeah, yeah, and and you know, we'll we'll end with this because we we said forty minutes. Um, guys, insurance marketing is so niched, like it is its own animal. Yeah. So, before I worked with Cody fourteen months ago, I owned a digital marketing agency that had no specialty. I had the car lot, the chiropractor, the dentist, and everything in between. And I used to tell Cody, like, there's, I'm never going to get the insurance marketing. And I helped him with his AdWords and some other things. And, um, but it was never, that's how we met was I was working with him on his AdWords stuff because I owned a local agency. And then I, but then once he kind of opened my eyes, he's like, dude, there's like, if we got in this insurance space, we could like really win. And I'm like, so I started to learn what's going on. And then I do dove in. Well, over the last 14 months, I took all my general digital marketing strategy and now I only apply it to insurance. And I cannot tell you how niche this business is. We'll even talk to our, we'll even talk to our yeah. Facebook rep and our Facebook rep, rep is like, you need to probably structure campaigns this way or that way. And we're like, yeah. no, 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 it's not gonna work. We've already been down that road. Like, you know, it, it, like we're telling, cause Facebook's trying to take general practices and apply it to insurance and it's yeah. just not the same, I'm telling you. It doesn't work. It does not work. work. So moral of the story, Landon is a marketing freak. Oh, and Cody is also a marketing freak, <laughs> and we have a, our powers combined. Well, um, we are Captain Planet. Let me throw 55 team members, you know, on the team to 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 to, to help with clients. You know, yeah, it's, uh, it's big. Yeah. yeah. So 
let me just read this question. Education is key. I always tell clients that is one thing to have in insurance. It's another to know how to use it. I'm here to educate and help you make informed decisions. See, that's exactly right. So if your brand isn't like, if you need to say that every time for someone to like, like, uh, make that relevant to your brand, then you need a bigger website to be able to like educate. Like, yeah, that should come across in all things that you do. Totally. Your website is how people are going to accomplish that. Creating these little tiny like one page websites because someone's going to do fifty dollar a month to stand you up an insurance website that's basically a digital business card. Those days are over. You they're know? just they're there, but they don't. It might be a found. URL you can put in your business card, but it's not going to get found ever. It's Never not going to. Found. It's not going to communicate what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I love it, John. That's awesome, buddy. That's good, man. That, that we need more people like that in the insurance industry. That's that's amazing. Seriously. Uh, all right, 40 minutes, Insurance Marketing Masterclass. Do us a favor, okay? I'm going to put the link in chat again. Click, go to securityagentmarketing.com forward slash Samson to actually schedule a book, a free strategy call. I want to get to know you. I'm hoping that when you do insurance marketing or you try to find a marketing automation software, that we will be the solution because I promise you, when it comes to insurance marketing, we are absolutely dominating in the space, and I would absolutely love to do business with you. Yes, and if you're not um, ready to like, you know, do business or whatever, there's a good discussion going on on Facebook. We have a Facebook group called Advanced Insurance Marketing. Yes. Uh, Aim, go find that. I'll let you in. We'll have a discussion there. We can kind of talk. Maybe you're not ready to kind of bite it off. Um, also, check out our YouTube channels. Um, Yes. With uh, Security Marketing and also Cody Askins YouTube channel, which is most likely how you found about us, about us anyways. Um, we are looking to educate you um, as well. I love it. All right. Awesome. Appreciate you guys for being on. Thank you so much. Definitely grab your free strategy call. Do not forget about it. Thank you so much for being on tonight. Have a your week. Boom, baby. Talk soon. Hey, you love this and you're like, dude, what are the mistakes that I don't want to make and how do I avoid them? All right. I'm going to go over the top six mistakes agents make and how you can avoid making them right here. Click on that video, see you over there. Hey, six mistakes. Six mistakes that a lot of agents make. I wonder if you're making them and how to avoid them. So I'm gonna start out by letting you